Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo. Welcome to my channel and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, ang pag-uusapan natin for this video is all about what to do kapag hindi nag-work sa inyo yung niacinamide serum ninyo and kung ano bang mga alternatives and options na meron ninyo as well as kung ano bang mga pwede ninyong gawin sa mga natitira ninyong niacinamide para hindi naman siya masayang. So, ang niacinamide is actually, in my opinion, one of the best ingredients sa skincare kasi madali hindi lang siya mahanap sa mga products, may mga murang options siya, and ang dami niyang benefits across all skin types and all skin conditions. However, as with all skincare products and ingredients, hindi lahat din is nakukuha yung results na gusto nila sa niacinamide for one reason or another. So, i-discuss natin yan in-depth in this video to help you determine kung hindi ba talaga siya tumatabla sa'yo or if baka may mali ka lang na ginagawa sa routine mo. Also, a small portion of this video is in partnership with Elana, but as usual, marami rin tayong iba pang mga products products and brands na pag-uusapan in this video. So with that being said, let us begin. So when it comes to a lot of skincare products, ang usual na determining factor ng maraming mga tao if hiyang sila sa isang product or hindi is if hindi sila mag-breakout sa product na yon. As in, automatically, kapag nag-breakout ang isang tao, usually sasabi nila, ah, ito kasi yung last na ginamit ko, ito yung nag-cost nun, kaya hindi ako hiyang sa product na to. And meron din naman talagang mga instances wherein posible yon. As in, kunyari, meron ka na talagang acne, tapos irritating yung product na ginamit mo sa skin mo, so medyo lumala yung acne mo. Posible yon. However, it's also entirely possible na sadyang coincidence lang na ginamit mo yung product, pero mag-breakout ka na talagang talaga because of other factors na nagbe-build up over time. Which is, mas likely yun guys kasi hindi naman nangyayari overnight ang acne. Kasi talaga guys, madali magbigay ng blame sa isang bagay or isang factor kapag nagka-breakout ka. Kunyari, tigyawatin ka. It's easy to say, ay kasi first time ko gumamit na itong product na to, never naman ako nagka-acne dati, so ito yung nag-cause especially since yesterday or ilang days ago ko lang siya ginamit. Na kung ganun, kasing dali lang din sabihin na, ay kasi kulang ako ng tulog kagabi, kaya tumaas yung stress ko, kaya nagkatigyawat ako, or ay kasi kumain ako ng maasukal kahapon, kaya tinigyawat ako today. It's always easy to point it to just one factor. Pero ang katotohanan about acne guys is, never siyang isang factor lang. According to board certified by dermatologists, acne is always a build-up of several factors over time. Na kung ma-irritate ka man sa isang product or may isang product na nag-trigger talaga ng breakout para sa'yo, parang icing on top of the cake na lang yun. Kasi remember guys, there are four factors that need to happen para magkaroon ng acne sa skin mo. And yung irritation na magiging inflammation sa skin mo, isa pa lang yun. Pero medyo nasa ibang topic na to, so if you do want to know more about this in depth, specifically yung mga breakouts, then do check out my video on what causes acne breakouts here. Now, the reason why I wanted to mention this sa unahan pa lang is because posibleng marami sa inyo is pinapanood tong video na to thinking na nag-breakout kayo dahil sa niacinamide and you're looking for products na baka mas hihiyang sa inyo. Kung kayo yon, hello, ito ang sagot para sa inyo. Mataas ang chance na hindi lang niacinamide ang nag-cause ng breakout ninyo. Yes, again, pwedeng na-irritate ng niacinamide ang skin ninyo and pwedeng napabilis nun yung paglabas ng breakout ninyo pero very likely na isang factor lang yon and mataas yung chance na meron na talagang underlying issue yung skin mo even before and yun yung nag-cause ng acne ninyo. And when it comes to acne guys, lagi kong sinasabi acne is a medical condition and ang sagot doon is not always going to be skincare products pero medication. Na I know marami magsasabi wala silang access sa derma or mahal masyado magderma. But again, I just want to take this opportunity to remind sa Pilipinas, ang Philippine Dermatological Society ay nag-o-offer ng free and online consultation with board-certified dermatologists para maresetahan kayo ng gamot for your acne. And the earlier na mag-consult kayo, mas maaga ninyong maagapan yung acne ninyo at menos gastos pa yun sa inyo. And kung nagdududa pa kayo, ang dami na rin sa community natin na nanonood ng channel na to is nagpa-consult and naagapan yung acne nila. So if kailangan nyo ng more information Check nyo lang sa description box lahat ng instructions nilagay ko na doon on how you can avail a free online consultation with a board-certified dermatologist thanks to the Philippine Dermatological Society. Alright, so now that we got that covered, move naman tayo sa mga next na nagka-issue sa niacinamide. So aside from those na nagka-breakout sila from niacinamide, there are two other reactions that might have happened. And it's either, number one, na-irritate or parang namula yung skin nila sa niacinamide, or number two, parang wala lang talagang nangyaring result 
results from niacinamide. So, unahin natin yung mga na-irritate or namula yung skin nila. Now, usually, kapag nagka-irritation sa skin from a niacinamide serum, derms say that there are three possible causes. Number one, pwedeng may allergy ka to niacinamide in which according to derms like Dr. Dre, very, very rare yung mga ganito kasi wala raw masyadong nagkaka-allergy talaga to topical niacinamide. Number two, pwedeng may ibang ingredients sa serum that cause irritation. Like for example, ang gamit ninyo is a serum na may niacinamide and salicylic acid or BHA or niacinamide na may retinol. Now, due to the nature of those ingredients, they can also cause irritation and purging sa skin. And lastly, the most common cause, which is number three, you are using too much or too high of a percentage of niacinamide. And guys, itong number three, ito yung pinaka-overlook talaga na reason kasi ang dami-daming gumagamit ng 10% niacinamide serum thinking it will work for them, thinking it's the best percentage of niacinamide serum, not knowing na 10% is actually too much. Now remember guys, research shows na ang effective range ng niacinamide is 2-5%. to 5%. Yun lang yung kailangan ninyo. More is not always better, lalong-lalo na sa sitwasyon na to, because ang nagagawa lang ng beyond 5% or lagpas 5% is increase the chance of skin irritation. Ilang beses na rin to inuulit ng mga derms across YouTube. Hindi lang si Dr. Dre, I think si Dr. Shireen Idris, si Dr. Shaw, Dr. Maxfield of Dr. Lee. Lahat sila nasabi na to, as in 2-5% to 5 lang talaga dapat. So okay, with that being said, kung ma-rule out ninyo na baka hala, o nga, 10% percent na isin na may yung gamit ko. I might be using too much. Ano yung mga pwedeng options ninyo? So, don't worry guys, hindi nyo kailangan itapon agad-agad yung niacinamide serum na 10% na meron ninyo. You can still try other ways and see if magiging effective siya sa inyo. So, kunyari, meron kayong niacinamide serum ngayon na 10%. What you can do, and personally, I found this very helpful nung nag-sting sa akin yung 10% serum before, ang ginawa ko is to dilute it in a moisturizer, a cream, or a gel. So, basically, just get any plain moisturizer. Kunyari, yung mga Avino, Cetaphil, kahit yung mga water-based na moisturizer like yung Celatec or even yung Sika soothing gel ng Lux Organics, okay din yon. So kapag ginagamit yung mga moisturizers, creams, or gels na to, mag-drop lang kayo ng mga 1 to 2 drops para ma-dilute yung niacinamide serum ninyo doon sa cream or sa gel or sa kung anumang moisturizer na ginamit nyo. And for some people, mas nagiging less irritating yung niacinamide serum sa kanila kapag ginagawa nila to. So of course, this is not a foolproof solution kasi hindi nyo rin minsan matatansya kung gaano bang na-dilute yung niacinamide. But it's one of the more practical ways para hindi naman masayang yung product na nabili ninyo. Kasi yung iba sa inyo, baka kakabili lang ng niacinamide serum. Pwedeng yun muna yung gawin ninyo and then moving forward, doon na kayo bumili ng product na lower yung percentage ng niacinamide. And when that time comes, marami kayong options thanks to Philippine skincare. Kasi ang dami na talaga nating options for niacinamide serums ngayon. So, local brands like Soul Apothecary and Skin ABCs have niacinamide serums like this na murang-mura and nasa mga 5% range lang din sila. Now, aside from niacinamide serums, kung more on the sensitive side talaga yung skin ninyo, you can even go more gentle by just getting creams, lotions, or gels with niacinamide. Now, some really good options for moisturizers na merong niacinamide is itong sa Elana, ito na-mention ko na to sa best oily skin moisturizers video ko. This is their Stay Fresh Moisturizer. Now, meron tong niacinamide and meron din siyang Centella Asiatica and Green Tea. Perfect na perfect for sensitive and oily skin. And again, one of my favorite moisturizers Moisturizers to because napaka lightweight lang nito sa skin and marami talaga sa inyo magugustuhan to because this absorbs super fast. Now for a cheaper option, actually meron akong bagong discovery na parang gel type moisturizer na merong 5% niacinamide and medyo nagulat ako dito, this is actually the Fresh Skin Lab Jeju Aloe Ice Soothing Gel Lotion BT21 Edition. So yung mga army dyan, sumigaw! Charo! So actually, nireformulate pala to ni Fresh Skin Lab. Kasi yung dati nito, meron siyang menthol and alcohol and that's why I didn't like it. So ngayon, tinanggal na ng Fresh Skin Lab yung ingredients na yon, So hindi na siya as irritating and that actually makes it a pretty good option for a niacinamide moisturizer. Kasi kompleto din yung mga moisturizing ingredients nito. And lalo na sa presyo nito guys, this is just 175 pesos, 120 ml na to. So sulit na sulit. Although ang masasabi ko lang for this one is it does absorb a little bit slower unlike yung sa Elana na parang almost instantly siyang nag absorb Ito medyo magiging parang matubig and shiny for a while lang yung face mo and then mag absorb din naman siya after a few seconds. So just something to consider pero guys nonetheless for 175 pesos sobrang solid na option to. Ang dali lang din mahanap na sa Watsons lang. Now since those are products for oily skin meron din tayong options for dry skin you can also try products like this one ito from Face Republic. This is their 
Vita Glow Toning Cream. So according to Face Republic, this has 4% niacinamide. It's just in a light cream base. So kung dry skin ka, Perfect na perfect to, parang panglabas lang. But for those na medyo mas mahigpit yung budget, we can go even cheaper. And if okay lang kayo sa fragrance in your moisturizers or in your skincare, meron din option to try itong Ever White. This one also has 4% niacinamide for just 59 pesos. Kaya ito, sulit na sulit na option din to. But this is a little bit more moisturizing. But if dry yung skin niyo, that might be what you are looking for. Now, okay. With that being said, what if, okay, gumamit nga kayo ng niacinamide serum or moisturizer in the right way. Pero, wala pa rin talaga. Hindi kayo satisfied sa results, hindi nyo na-feel yung benefits, wala talaga. Hindi nyo nagugustuhan yung effect ng niacinamide sa skin ninyo. So, paano na? So again, niacinamide, just like a lot of other skincare ingredients, takes weeks, sometimes even months before you can see results. Pero, kung hindi talaga kayo satisfied sa results na nakikita nyo sa niacinamide, and it's been months, and it's been years, sana hindi years, thankfully naman guys, marami namang ibang mga alternatives to niacinamide. So immediately, if gusto nyo talaga ng mas aggressive para sa mga dark spots or marks ninyo for anti-aging, Matic yan guys, retinol or retinoids na talaga yan usually. So when it comes to retinol serums or creams, especially sa local scene or yung available sa Pilipinas, ang pinaka-accessible ngayon is going to be itong Hello Glow Nourishing Night Cream. Again, 150 pesos lang to, pwede siyang mabilis separate. And kung beginner kayo, this just has 0.1% retinol. For those naman na medyo mas gusto pang aggressive yung percentage or medyo mas may konting budget pa kayo, you can try the Ordinary Retinol Serums in Squalane. Meron silang mga 0.2% up to 1% if gusto nyo talaga taasan yung percentage. If I'm not mistaken, that is around mga 500 to 700 pesos. Now, on the other hand, if mas aggressive naman na product for oily skin ang gusto ninyo, of course, you can also try BHA or salicylic acid serums. Again, ang personal favorite ko is itong Quick FX Pimple Eraser at just 150 pesos. May niacinamide din to, pero 1% lang. But ang nagbubuhat talaga rito is the 2% BHA, which is amazing for oily skin. And and last but not the least, if hindi naman kayo masyado naghahanap ng mas aggressive than niacinamide, if okay na kayo sa parang tapang niya, it just so happens na parang wala lang talaga siyang effect sa skin mo, another option you can try is azelaic acid. So itong ingredient na to, unlike yung BHA and retinol, medyo less irritating siya na ingredient sa skin. And very similar si azelaic acid actually to niacinamide in the sense na it also targets oily skin, dark marks, and red spots. So you can find two different types of azelaic acid products in the market. So, una, yung prescription strength. So, this one is from the 15 to 20% strength. And ito, nakakatulong siya with oily skin, dark marks, and red spots. Pero may additional din siya na effect na nakakatulong siya with acne. And this is very well studied. Ito rin yung mga pinaprescribe ng board certified dermatologists to help their patients. But for those na gusto lang itry muna yung azelaic acid to just boost their routine, like for example, a niacinamide serum will, pwede nyo rin siyang kunin in lower concentration sa mga skincare products. So one of the easiest products that you can find when it comes to azelaic acid serums is of course yung galing sa The Ordinary. They have an azelaic acid suspension. Yun cream type siya. Pero kung medyo nasanay na kayo sa niacinamide serum and ang gusto nyo is parang ganun talaga yung consistency niya, yung parang lightweight na serum type, a great local example is itong Elana Clear Skin Plus Clarifying Skin Serum. Ito naman guys, this has 10% potassium azeloyl diglycinate which is actually an azelaic acid derivative. Now personally, dahil super light ito, medyo mas nagugustuhan ko to kesa sa The Ordinary. Kasi kung naalala nyo before sa mga videos ko, sinasabi ko na yung The Ordinary Azelaic Acid, nagugustuhan ko yung effect niya sa skin ko pero hindi ko masyado nagugustuhan yung texture niya. Ito, best of both worlds, maganda yung texture and nagugustuhan ko yung results sa skin ko. And also, since local ito, this also tends to be cheaper. And if interested kayong i-check out ito or any of the products that I mentioned in this video, ilalagay ko sila lahat sa description box para hindi na kayong mahirapang hanapin sila. And ayun na siya guys, sana nakatulong ako sa inyo sa journey ninyo ng paggamit ng niacinamide in one way or another. And always remember, let's always practice using our skincare products responsibly. And of course, let's learn to consult the experts kapag kayo and if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!